This one looks really crazy and super difficult, but very exciting. It's literally Sada versus a bad. I don't even know. How are we going to attempt this? So we obviously can't pop the DDTs unless we use her ability. So I think we're going to have to like naturally shred this guy down. And then when do we use our first ability? Because the first ability kind of you know, not too good right now. It's really good in the beginning, but not right now. But it's our second ability that's going to be really it. And I don't know if you noticed, but there's more health. So this is more health than around 100 bad normally would be. So it's going to be kind of crazy as it is. So maybe I should like use the first ability now. Look at her damage. This is crazy. We don't even have one bandage yet, but she's trying her hardest. She's fighting. This isn't going to work, is it? So I think what we'll have to maybe do is that even. Oh, wow. That's really good. That's really good. So I think what we'll do is we'll use that right away. So we'll use her first ability right away. And that does a thousand damage. 15. That's not bad. And then what's this one do? Okay, okay, that's really good right there. It's 6,800 damage already before it even gets to us. And now it's gonna circle around this middle like 47,000 times. So let's pop that first ability. So now when we pop this second ability though, like I don't want him to open up because then we're totally like out of whack with that. But there's really not much else we could do at this point, guys. Like use that first ability again. Or are we even gonna get bandages on this guy? 23,000? You gotta be kidding me. So we use the abilities as soon as we could. This is super weird. Like I'm finding this very weird. What if we use it again? Oh, but look at this though, guys. We have 781 lives. So we just need to probably, what, that's still like, how much is a DDT? I don't think we're just gonna have to, like I don't think we're gonna just be able to pop it down and that's the end of it. We're gonna have to pop something underneath. But I don't think we're gonna get another ax or another sword one. So I kind of just wanna hold on to that one and just do that one again. Maybe and then wait for it to leave. This is so crazy. Like it's still getting some damage. So I guess that's okay. And then we'll use our first ability and then our second one again. That's so weird, right? No, 25,840. So I used the sword ability, the second ability immediately when it came out and we do not have enough time to use it three times. So is there something maybe here that I'm missing? Maybe where we have to just keep it on level 19? Like what I'm trying to think here is like, if I switch to level 20, is something gonna happen? Like, is she gonna get stronger? So just one time with that. So no, that's not there. But now if I like upgrade her, you no, know, nothing actually happens. I thought maybe I'd get like a regeneration on the sword or something like that, or just something of that sorts. And that's definitely not the case. What about somewhere in like this location? Is that gonna have something to do with it? Like the location? I don't think so, but like maybe. That time we got it down to both purple floaties. So we got 26,256 damage. We actually can use our one ability again. Oh, 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 what the heck? Why were we able to use it three times that time? That's very weird. That was no different than the other time. Okay, so I'm gonna slow it down. Just like, just jam on these buttons. And then maybe it was just like my speed and timing of it. Maybe, I don't know. That's really weird though. And we have 8620. Why would the damage be any different? That is super weird. Before it was like 5,700. And then like, that is so weird. Is this RNG? Is that what's going on here? You guys gotta let me know below. But here's my second sword ability. I'm just gonna jam on that button until we get it. Okay. So this one's obviously gonna do the most damage I would imagine, right? Because it's all three right in the middle and it's hitting it like 60 times, right? Am I wrong or am I right? So I'm going to use the first ability and then I'm going to try to use the second ability. And then for some reason it will work this time or not work this time. No, I got it. I got it. But it doesn't really do any damage, right? 30,180. Not bad. Get it not bad, but it is really bad. So I have another hypothesis I need to check out. And what I'm thinking for this one is that I'm gonna wait for him to get into the middle and then use the sword because I think I can get two of them. And what I'm thinking here is that when I do that, so right now I should be able to get like more because look at she sits there in the circle and spins like crazy. So that should be more damage, right? No, 8,700, it's like exactly the same. Well, I'm hoping it regenerates while he's still here and I can hit him twice in the circle and that will be more damage than before. But it looks like he's gonna get out. No, maybe not, maybe not. We can get it. We can get it. No, no, don't leave. Don't leave. Don't leave. Okay, maybe I just waited too long, but I think we're still going to get it right there. Yeah, perfect. That's not bad. Okay, so the same amount of damage with only two of them. You see that, right? You see that. We are onto something here for sure. So I'm thinking that here too. And then as soon as she starts attacking, I'm going to use the ability. So it gets in there sooner too. So boom, there we go. Now it's going to go one, two, three. This is perfect. Yes. And then we'll use the ability here too, that first one. Or what if... Oh my gosh, what if using the first ability is a hindrance? Because now she's not actually attacking and she's wasting her time on her sword attack. That could totally be a thing. Like we have to use the second sword ability, of course, that'd be dumb not to. But watch, when I go to hit this, she stops attack. Oh, but she does a fat 1000 damage though. So I can't like say it's bad. And then this one's just a freaking kill. Oh my gosh, it's already opened up. Yes, we might have gotten this one for sure. And she still keeps attacking. Oh, and I can't use the ability anymore. Oh, there's a cap on it. Oh my gosh. 
but we did less damage on the bad, so I'm missing something. So on its own, just the first ability has done 3,200 damage to this guy. Just the first ability. And I do not think that she can compete with that just by attacking on her own. Yeah, because look at, imagine, that would be like 6,000. So I don't think us pressing this for one second is slowing us down at any any chance. But she does do more damage with the second ability when he's in the circle. So, because we've... Why is that though? That's 100% the thing. Because when she's in the circle, it's just it's just pure mayhem. So, as soon as it starts attacking, we'll do it again. And 3280 seems to be a non-RNG standard to the first ability, which I really like. There's no messing around with it. Like, it's not like it's gonna be less or whatever. It just does that much. And it's gonna do even more here because I think it even comes back and attacks, which is beautiful. Now, we're gonna be using our second sword attack again. Drop that first ability. And then as soon as that sword comes out, yeah, this is pretty good. This is not bad at all. And then we're gonna drop that thing. Look at, look at this. This should be hurt. What the heck though? No, 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 no. It doesn't do the damage, but that was a lot more actually. 31, 274, but it's still attacking, but it's not attacking. That's super weird, right? Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. We could drop another thousand on this guy and that one didn't do a thousand. This game is super weird. I never understand why things just completely are different results each time. Like, I don't think this is RNG. This is just weirdo stuff because like, I, at least that's always like, well, now it's 33:40. So yeah, that's what I'm saying. It's I hit at the same time every time, but this time's different. Now watch this. When I use this second ability, we're getting a bunch of damage, a lot. So you would imagine that when you use this ability again, you'd get a lot and you don't. It's super weird. See, look at this time. Oh, I guess we're, we're getting a good amount. Yeah, it's not bad. I can't complain, I guess. But now she's going to keep attacking 32,000. Is that more than before? Oh, no. Okay, it's around the same, but she should keep going. And it's okay. Sometimes it does. Sometimes it doesn't. <laughs> this game is just silly. And we haven't even gotten like the foot band-aid yet on the back yet, though. There it is. There's the foot band-aid. But we still have so much more damage to do. Like, that's not even close. Now, looking at this a little closer. So I'm doing the three sword technique again. So I hit it immediately there. Only 26,000 is it leaves the gate. So you 100% get way more pops just because you're having the sword go like crazy in the middle. Now, maybe with the third one, we might get that 32,000. 30, no, no. So it's a lot less. You get so much more just by doing it twice than you do three times. That time was 2860 for the sword. The dumbest stuff, I swear. But at least this time, we're like learning more about like a hero than we've ever learned, which is really cool. So it's like you get to walk away with something. And look how much damage she does just because it's in that same circle. That's 100% it. Look, oh, what the heck? Because the circle's tighter. That makes more sense. Do you guys see that? Because the circle that she's in right now is tighter than the one here. She's circling it more times and getting more damage. So if I can get this one timing just right, yes. Watch this, watch this, watch this. Look at that. So much. Oh my God. 35, 36. Oh, we found onto something. You just got to keep going, guys. Perseverance is key. Look at that. 38,550. So we just have to find it. No, that is a better spot. I can improve. There we go. There's our 3340. So for whatever reason, you have to hit it like right away with that first ability. And then the second one, I didn't because I was talking. As soon as she starts attacking, I'm going to go a little bit crazy here. Well, not as soon as it, but as soon as it gets in the circle, so we can get a crazy amount of damage. Look at that damage. That is broken crazy. But now we have a basis too, because I did wait and I was talking. I didn't do it exactly when she started attacking. Maybe it'll be even better when she starts attacking. This is bananas though. B-A-N-A. Yes. Because look at this. Well, no, the other one was like 35 off of it, huh? No, 36. Look at that. That is crazy. And we might have enough for another one, like another ability, the first ability. That would be so sick. Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do it. Yes. Come on, Sada. 38. 39, 39, 530 is not enough. We have reached new heights. Okay, this one's gonna be the second she starts attacking, like the second. So as soon as she swings that little ax, I'm gonna go crazy here and hit it. There we go. One, two, was that more or less? I think that was more, right? That was pretty good. Then we'll use that first ability. God, Sada, you're so good. Why are you so good? That is so cool. That actually teaches me so much. Like there's so many times I've been using her on like regular chimps mode or something. And what'll happen is that she'll just like, you know, let me down because I'm over there chasing balloons at the end. And that's why it's because I'm not using her to her full ability. And she just like whiffs them because you got to use it in good spots. Although that one was a lot worse. Well, maybe not. 38, 162. Oh my gosh. We're just keep breaking it. The first one gave me 20 this time. That is madness. So it's completely just like, oh my gosh. Maybe it has nothing to do with her location. It has everything to do with where you start attacking. Is that what's going on here? Is that what I'm missing? Cause look at, yeah, she circles there regardless. 37, 424, so that second attack was really, really bad. 
3970 that has to be the highest we've gone right okay so i've made a i made a breakthrough here so we're gonna do this one like we always do it's always gonna work right you're gonna get that 3340 every single time without a doubt now what's happening here is it doesn't matter where sada is it matters where you press the button so as soon as this guy gets in that circle we're gonna go crazy here it's gonna be like 19,000 pops hey, look at that 19,000 bajillion okay now we're gonna hit that second first ability which we should have done a little bit sooner it might cause some problems but i doubt it and now she's gonna attack like crazy because she's gonna hit him every single time so this is where our extra pops are getting in because she ain't gonna stop she crazy she crazy girl and then we're gonna hit it one more time which isn't the best spot for it, to be honest. I feel like we need a better spot because this is where we come up to, okay, so 36. I think that's what we ended up with before. Maybe not. It's a little bit more if we can get that first ability off one more time. There we go. 37, 38. Do we get that 39? 122. We're almost there. I honestly just need to find a better second spot for this one because this one, if I do it right here every single time, as soon as he makes that little turn, boom, we just go like this, 19,000 pops. No brainer. Look at that. Perfect. And we hit that first ability. That one's real. That one's always cool. It doesn't really matter. I mean, it does because if you hit it here, it's less for some reason. But now my question is, when do we hit that second, second ability? Because I thought like right now in the center would be the best, but it's really not. So like maybe when, when he's leaving, like, would that be better? What the? What? I almost dropped the F-bomb. What was that? Why did that even work like that? She just shredded all the DDTs, all of everything. What? This game is so weird, but we're on to something. <laughs> if you play something long enough, you will figure it out regardless. And that's the moral of this story. So we'll wait for this thing to do a little lip right there. We'll go, whoop, okay. We'll get our 19,000 pops, 19,180 like always. We'll hit that sec first ability right there. And now what we're gonna do is we're gonna wait for him to leave because when he leaves, it's better. But this time I'm gonna wait a, even a little bit longer because I feel like maybe that's the key. Maybe it's like at this bend right here and she just destroys everything. Because as you saw, clearly we do not have enough time to like pop everything or we couldn't pop everything. So what if we wait until the little turn right here, we'll wait for this nose to go up and we'll hit it now. Oh my goodness, I cannot believe this game. <laughs> so maybe we'll wait even longer? What is wrong with this game? This is so crazy to me. We got down to Moabs. We got down to Moabs. So for this one, I'm gonna wait for his sword. I don't know why, I just feel like I should. And what I'm gonna do for the first build, I mean, and for the second one, I'm gonna wait for it to come up here and then go around the bend, like right up here. So it's gonna turn and now I'm gonna hit it. And the reason why is because this game's weird. No, that time sucked. Why is that vine any different? That literally makes no sense. And whoever figured this out, whoever's challenge this is, you're a madman because this is just weird. Okay, this one, we're gonna wait for it to go up around the bend again. There we go. It made that little tick in its little step. Oh, I just wish we could do one more. We're missing something here, team. It's an ability. We're missing something. Here we go. We're gonna wait for a little bit longer, just a tad bit longer. So there's the turn. We're gonna go now. Is that gonna be better? It is. It took it down to... This makes no sense to me. No sense at all. We got so much better that time, but I'm just so confused. So I've been running little tests, and basically what I've been doing is I put the eye right above Sada, and that's the perfect spot to get that 19,180. So I thought, hey, let's actually just do it a little bit later. But right now we're going to do it right on the money. And no joke, I got 14,000. So this is like 19,180 every single time, and that's it. So that's a good spot for it. Now this one, I don't have like a landmark for it, so I just kind of, you know, rough around the edges a little bit and that last one I waited for it to go like nose tip like right there kind of thing and it worked out perfectly but I'm just guessing because the thing's so giant I don't have anything to base it off of I'm thinking about waiting on my sword so I can use it a little bit later but I do actually get a third one when I'm lucky so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go up and down so now down I think well he doesn't even go down he just kind of just does his own thing there so that one was worse we're getting so much damage though that one didn't even break him down so it's like right in the middle of that spot that I've been doing it Oh, oh, I got 24,000 on the first one. So I started it a little bit earlier just because I'm like at my wits end here and it worked 24,000. Now the problem I'm having is I can't replicate the last one. I don't know the spot. I don't have like a reference point. So I'm just like winging it. And then sometimes it's right. Sometimes it's wrong. Like that one, that was good. That was really good. <laughs> Oh, please be 716. Please let me be done. I want to be done. Let me just kill you. This is, I can't use the... Tell me why I can't use the ability. Tell me why I can't use the ability. Because this game is dumb. Because sometimes you can, sometimes you can't, depending on how much damage Sada has. I didn't overuse it. I've used it just as many times as I've used it before. So why in the... Why in the heck did it say no to me that time? But this one, instead of the eye being directly above her, I put it right on this vine right here. So watch, we wait for this vine. So right there. Now it should be, watch this, big influx. Boom, 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 again. 
No, that one sucked. We're doing it again. Okay, right about now. We'll go even a little bit earlier just to make sure we don't screw it up. There we go. There we go. 24,240. I'm okay with that. 23,580 that time. So what I've been noticing is that you can kind of tell where you're messing up. So that one was a little late because by the time he gets to here, that's when it's too late. So what I mean by that is we can actually watch Sada. And if the first one doesn't get a lot of attacks, that means we either were too soon or too early. So we'll wait till to go here. So like right there, that first one was bad. Second one, really good. Third one, really good. So we were too early. Does that make sense? I think we're onto something. Oh my gosh, one BFB and we're not gonna be able to take it down, are we? Nope. Because you can't use Sada's ability again. What is that about? Can someone please tell me below why you can use it sometimes and the other times you can't? And it's not because of the times I've used it because it's the same amount each time. It is when I only have one BFB left. It's like, nah, nah, you're too close to the end, buddy. Take a hike. Oh, 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 yes. One life, one life. <laughs> Sada, you are the queen and you were the best. This honestly has to be the best challenge I've ever played. Not gonna lie. This was super fun trying to figure this out. And I think I've actually got it to where I can get it again. So it's right there and you get the 24,000, whatever, but the actual, the little bit at the end doesn't actually make a difference. 23, 360, it didn't matter. Cause I got the lowest one I had gotten and it still didn't matter. What matters is down here. And if you wait for this eye to touch here, but a little bit after it. So watch this, it is the coolest thing. And it just shredded it. I'm talking all this big game. Watch me not be able to do it twice, but I'm pretty sure I got the spot down. So we're gonna wait for this eye to get on this thing and then to turn a little bit. So right there, that should be it. Yeah, cause look at the first one was good. The second one was good. And the third one was good. Ba Boom. Oh Jesus. Big talk from a big idiot. I think this one will be a little bit better. So wait for that. Oh no, no, no. will it work? Will it work? Yes. Oh, you suck, son. I'm done. I don't care. I beat it once. And if you enjoyed that, then I know you like this video where we take on round 63 with only one tower and one of the hardest, most mind-numbing, most frustrating challenges I have ever played in BTD6.